this is Erica with Nuevo Tech Productions, and we are here at the official after party of the Homie Sapiens production that took place today at the Painted Bride Arts Center. I have Vince here, who is the creative director of the event, and Sean, who's the lead percussionist, and we're going to find out a little bit about what they thought about the event tonight. I thought it was awesome. awesome. I thought it was awesome. It was awesome. You know, it was, everybody was having fun, and that's what it was about. You know, it's, we, we did our thing. You know, the audience, I hope, enjoyed it. You never can really know you're not them. So, I mean, but just as long as people are laughing, I don't think when people laugh or shout or clap, I, I hope it's not uh, dishonest. You can't really fake laughter. Yeah, they really. loved it. Mm -hmm. They loved it. People so, loved it. but then also uh, I, the performers and I had a great time, and that to me is, you know, number one, you know. Mm -hmm. um, we enjoy each other, and if we enjoy each other, then I'm sure other people will enjoy us, you know. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about how this vision came to be? Like, how did it come together? Uh, it came together, um, well, it, it, the I, it came together from scratch. The idea was first to just do a show. I said I need to do another show, and I didn't know what the material was going to be. And it was, uh, it was important for me to think in terms of uh, doing something that, that – um, not move, move, moving people isn't necessarily the right word, but doing something that that was connected. People. Well, or no, that had connection with people and connection with the the, the dancers and all the performers, um, and and making something that that was just about existing, breathing, and experience. Um, that's what I wanted. I wanted to make an experience, and uh, the thing that I just was inescapable just to just think in terms of just you know social dance. Uh, Talking to people in the audience, drums, you know, all the things that we that make sense to us when it, when we think about grooving with each other, hanging with each other. So those that's that that was the primary inspiration for for the piece. What what do people respond to, and what can I construct for the artists that will make it easy for us to mesh with each other, connect with each other, and um, you know drive things forward. Speaking of the groove and you being the lead percussionist of the event, can you speak to a little bit about how you came across with your vision for doing what you did? In this yeah, Vince, Vince approached me. He said, you know, let's. We, we, we met at this apartment where we're doing this interview. Mm -hmm. We were just playing, jamming, and he walked in and was like, oh, my God, I got to dance. And he came and, and threw some shit down, threw something down. And, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, we were impressed, and we met him, and then we decided to do something together in the near future. And with Indigenous Pitch being connected with Ill Reality, we were able to put together this show. Mm. And, um, you know, we wanted to have percussion be at the heart of it because that's what people dance to. Mm -hmm. They think, you know, the groove is what these these dancers, um, you know, thrive on. It's what it's what it's what they makes them move. And with Trickin, which is a, a style that Vince is at the forefront, um, we were able to experience and you know, incorporate, we were able to incorporate Afro-Cuban percussion, Brazilian percussion, mm -hmm. um, uh, I'd say modern, modern dance, expression, when, when there's, you know, just percussion used as an expression um, of, of movement. We, we got to the, the nitty gritty, I guess I can say, like when, you know, Tiger was, was moving on the floor, we're using percussion to express his every move. Mm. And that's pretty much what we did. We, we, did, we had no... We had no concept of how the percussion would be involved, mm -hmm. but just through the process that Vince created, which was an open process that had everyone's opinion uh, being respected, um, made the rehearsal process very pleasant for everyone. And then we came up with what we came up with, and that's what the show is. Homie Sapiens. Which is a wonderful show, I might add. And now, for your creative process, I know that that probably took a great deal of input and thought. And can you talk a little bit about what your background was that helped you make shows like this that stand out and are different from what we typically see? Well, I'm, I'm primarily a martial artist and um, a hip-hop dancer. That's what I came up doing. Um, and then uh, in the past four to five years, I've been really interested in... Um, contemporary dance um, and even classical dance. Um, there's a lot of really great um, dance and theater going on in Philadelphia. Um, so I have a lot of people to look to for inspiration. Uh, mainly, however, um, I'm, I watch a lot of movies that's, and I watch a lot of TV. Um, so 
anything from uh, bored to death on HBO to, I don't know, The Office to, you know, I've been watching Bad Boys a lot. Um, What's that? Ba- you know, Bad Boys, you know, Will Smith and, uh, and Martin, uh, Martin Lawrence. Lawrence. Yeah. The movie? That yeah, yeah. was a huge inspiration <laughs> on, like, this, <laughs> on this piece. Bad Boys and, uh, and there's a number of other movies that, like, I, I mean, I wish I could go through the whole gamut, but it's just like... Netflix, I'd see, basically just Netflix. Yeah, I see, you know, a lot of the stuff is, you know, I, you know, I, the, I see in the movie, Will Ferrell is a huge inspiration mm-hmm. to me. Like, all these, you know, so, um, and then music. I'm, I'm inspired by movies, music. I'm inspired by watching people move. And, and you know, for me, uh, it's about conversation, mm-hmm. you know. Um, it's very... Dance is very abstract, right? It's, it's, mm-hmm. it's, well, dance, you know, in terms of when we think of it as performance, mm-hmm. it's very abstract, you know, you know, we're moving, what does this mean, you know? And, and for me, it's important to, to tap into um, how, it can, how it can become conversational mm-hmm. and how just in general, all the different, um, uh, you know, mediums and, and, and genres and, and um, techniques that we use within the show, how we can create conversation with all mm-hmm. these things. Um, and, uh, so that's, that's yeah. my inspiration. That's, you know, how the, I, the concept of creating conversation is an African concept, you know, it's the concept of call and response. Mm-hmm. You know, I say something, you say something, either the same thing or slightly different, but in response, you know, the reaction, the mm-hmm. concept of the mm-hmm. reaction. I, throughout the rehearsal, reaction I heard you say that a lot. To reaction. Dancers. It's all about reaction. Like, mm-hmm. how do you, re- it, really it is, because a lot of this show is based on improv like you know for on on so many different levels and that's the most important thing you know there's an action and then no matter what happens we have to be able to react it mm-hmm. doesn't necessarily you know um uh, you know if, if i say something to tiger in order to keep things progressing and keep things interested for each for us as performers and and uh and then even for the audience it all comes down to how we react mm-hmm. to each other so react reaction um, is is one of the key um, concepts for me in this in this project is mm-hmm. you know it, one of the notes that I would constantly give to to the trickers because the trickers in in the piece they had to they had to um, have a, a relationship with themselves the, you mm-hmm. know they had to have a relationship with Brandon who was playing the guitar mm-hmm. they had a relationship with with the the movie the the film so they had to always react to different elements they had to react to the audience and so. Reaction is really important. I think you definitely see that a lot in the personalities of the people that were in the roles as well. It seems like these were more than just your typical average everyday dancers. These people had a lot of personality that they had to bring to the table. And yeah. Everybody, to me, that's another thing. When I'm in the room, I'm looking at how everybody, everyone's dynamic. Mm-hmm. You know, I have a certain dynamic. And, and you know, um, what I tend to not, I like maybe messy is. Oh, I'm just gonna say I like I like when things get messy. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of times um, we 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 look um, to to make things pristine and and you know and we and we strive for perfection. But you know, you, you go to a you go to a dance show, you go to a theater show, and, and everybody's pushed to be on the same level. Mm-hmm. You know, if you think about just um, commercial media, when you see dancers in in a music video, all of them look like robots. They're all the same. Mm-hmm. They all they all hit the step the same. Their their arms on the same level. And me, I'm not so much interested in that. Mm-hmm. I'm interested at, in 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 individuals. And so, for me, so being in the room, I'm I'm check. I'm very in tune and, and, and interested in everyone's dynamic mm-hmm. and how we relate to each other. And then that dynamic makes its way onto the stage. You know. So a lot of the, the stuff that you saw in terms of, um, you know, the, you know, people, you know whatever they said on stage or actions on stage it reflected their personalities Mm -hmm. you know you wrote stuff that made tiger shine i wrote yeah because you know yeah exactly i wrote stuff to make each person person shine shine. because these you know everyone has everyone has different strengths and everyone has different weaknesses and 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 um but, you know, so it's important for me to understand that. And, you know, I like when dance is personal. Mm-hmm. I like when you have, when you're, eight, when, I like when theater is personal. I like when you're, when you move from ensemble and then even within the ensemble work, you can tune into a certain person and then mm-hmm. move to the next and move to the next. And so it creates depth and, and, you know, um, instead of it being flat. So I like, I'm very interested in dynamic and, 
and getting to know people, getting to know All who you're watching. You. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that this project is complete, what do you have coming up in the next works? Um, well, Ill Reality, the, there's two sides of this, mm -hmm. of Homie Sapiens, uh, Indigenous Pitch is, is a co-producer. Um, Ill Reality, uh, in January, we'll be performing in a production called Post Op. And then also, um, we have another collaboration with Indigenous Pitch uh, set for March. And that will be at uh, the Performance Garage. Um, and, uh, and then also, I'm heavily involved in promoting uh, the sport and art of tricking. So um, we're actually, I'm holding and hosting a tricking event in France um, nice. coming up in, in a... Uh, April, and then uh, there's a number of other things, and then Sean has a number of projects with his with his group, Leander.